Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Jack Tretton. Wow. Thank God you guys showed up. <laughs> Given this industry's ability to keep confidential information, I was concerned that there really wouldn't be anything to be said at uh, these press conferences. <laughs> And you know, we consider ourselves to be industry leaders at PlayStation, and press leaks are no exception. We are not going to be outdone by anybody. <laughs> uh, my heartbeat is redlining at about 230 beats per minute right now. Uh, I can't tell you the, the pressure it is to get up in front of a live television audience, probably 5,000 members of uh, the industry and your uh, press colleagues up in the uh, upper balcony, down in the lower balcony. Uh, really appreciate you guys all being here. But the, the biggest sense of pressure that I feel is trying to do justice to the 364 games we have coming out on PlayStation platforms this year. And you're going to see a ton of live code. Thank you. You're going to see a ton of live code on the screen that stands 40 by 80. And only the PlayStation 3 can show you the resolution you're going to see on a screen that size. So on behalf of everyone at Sony Computer Entertainment America, I want to welcome you back to the historic Shrine Auditorium. You know, we constantly have to remind ourselves that despite all the pressure, we're in the entertainment business. 
And if consumers are spending valuable and limited spare time on our products, then clearly we're being successful. And we're going to show you this morning why PlayStation is going to continue to be the mainstay of this industry. We've been committed to groundbreaking innovation and in creativity since we entered this industry 15 years ago. And today's presentation is a testament to those ideals. You'll see why 2009 will be our best year ever, even better than the record year we had in 2008. As the only player with three successful platforms at once, we provide an entertainment experience second to none, something for every taste, every budget, and every need. All told, PlayStation generated more than 30% of total retail sales for the industry in 2008. It was a record year of growth and momentum for us, and it's just the beginning of what we expect in 2009. Back in April, we held a pre-E3 Gamers Day and showed some blockbuster exclusive titles we have coming out this year. And just by that short glimpse, many of you were saying that this was the best lineup on PlayStation to date. I know you're aware some of the industry's biggest titles are coming to PS3. Titles like Modern Warfare 2, Final Fantasy 13, Ratchet and Clank Future, A Crack in Time, Batman Arkham Asylum, Heavy Rain, Rock Band Beatles, and many more. When you look at the list, it's abundantly clear. In 2009, if you want to have the ultimate gaming experience, you need PlayStation. Now let's get started with the PlayStation 2. As I'm sure you know, PlayStation 2 is now retailing for $99, and the consumer response has been phenomenal. Last month's NPD numbers were impressive, but we also drove an additional 30% of our sales through distribution, Canada, and Latin America. And the fact that PS2 outsold next-gen systems in April is telling, but what's really amazing is that we did it in its ninth year, a true testament to why we talk so much about the 10-year product life cycle. But make no mistake, we don't intend to see an end to PS2 after 10 years. We're committed to this system as long as consumers see value in it. Now, we added nearly 9 million PS2 users globally uh, to the PlayStation family last year. And now at $99, with more than 2,000 titles available, PlayStation 2 continues to be a huge value for consumers and a profit opportunity for publishers and retailers. PS2 remains the perfect family console with games for everyone. And this year, we're pleased to announce PlayStation 2 will feature nearly 100 new titles, including your favorite franchises. And remember, every time you see somebody purchase PS2 hardware or software this year, Today's PS2 owners are ultimately tomorrow's PS3 consumers. A year ago, I stood on this stage and said that our goal in fiscal 2009 was to sell 10 million new PS3s, and that's precisely what we did. We grew the PS3 install base by 40% in 2008 and topped 22 million units sold globally. And as many of you have heard us announce, the fiscal forecast for 2010, which represents a total increase of 30%, to a total of 13 million PS3s. Now last year, Sackboy helped me announce that we were further expanding our presence in Latin America. Our retail sales in this territory have nearly tripled, and the rollout continues into Brazil, Uruguay, and Paraguay later this year. And we expect retail sales in the region to climb to three quarters of a billion dollars. Now thanks to great content and in-service enhancements, PlayStation Network had a monster year in 2008. We've seen the total registered accounts grow to more than 24 million worldwide, and we expect to see even more growth in 2009. Now, corporate stats are a testament to our success, but those numbers are derived from consumer acceptance. So let's talk about what consumers really care about, great games. I suspect the reason that some of you have bags under your eyes is because you've been playing Infamous nonstop since it came out last week. With ratings at 90% or higher at places like IGN, Game Informer, GameSpot, and Game Trailers, Infamous has quickly become this summer's biggest blockbuster title, and it's only available on 